The nine hole course is a par 27, plays at about 1,060 yards, mainly over DeSoto Springs Pond and Ike's Pond. It starts off with a straightaway simple hole with a fairly small green that slopes from back to front. Play this at 120 yards up and down to the cup from here. This shot is right on target. Nice hole. Tap this one in and let's move on. The second hole is the shortest, but it can be an awkward half shot for some. It plays to a green protected on either side by bunkers, and the putting surface slopes severely from left to right. So be cautious of the flagstick placement. Looked good from here, and then turned and ended just out. Number three plays quite a bit downhill to a green that slopes slightly from right to left towards the pond. The key here is being able to control your spin if you want to get it close. All right, we're on a slight downhill slope on this one. This ball is going to end up in a great position. What a great opportunity to put a birdie on our scorecard. Knock in this putt. That shot falls for a birdie. The fourth hole plays slightly uphill over water to a shallow green with a bunker guarding the right side. If the flag stick is in the front, it's not too difficult, but getting it a back right flag stick can be tough. You should play this 130 yards to the flag stick from here. This looks good. It's going to find the green. The ball striking has been superb so far on this hole. Just a little bit left to do from this distance. It's in the hole for a birdie. The fifth hole has a kidney-shaped green that runs from left to right toward the fall-off on the right and is protected by a bunker in the front. It is a fairly deep green, but it's also quite narrow, so you have to be accurate. 
You've got probably 120 yards of the flag stick from this spot. Number six is the longest of all these short holes and plays slightly downhill over water to a medium-sized green that slopes from back to front towards the pond on the right. There are also three bunkers surrounding the green on the left side and back right. Don't see that every day, a hole in one. The tree surrounded seventh is slightly uphill to a green that slopes from right to left. It's also a much wider landing area in the front half of the green than in the back half. Be careful of the left to right movement, it's pretty heavy. That looked good and then just ducked at the last second. that hole. In 1987, holes 8 and 9 were added over Ike's Pond, eliminating holes 1 and 2 of the original course. The 8th is a beautiful hole, playing steeply downhill to a small green with the pond protecting all sides, except for the left where there's a small bunker. 120 yards of the flag stick. That is a textbook approach to this green, and it's a great position to make a putt. It's in the hole for a birdie. <laughs> Number nine requires a very accurate shot as it plays completely over the pond to a small green that runs severely from back to front. Controlling your spin will be the key on this hole, as there is a transition backstop in the middle of the green that, with precision, can funnel your ball straight to the hole. You're looking at about 110 yards from the flag stick. golf shot in the hole for an ace.